Hello, my name is Heather Littlefield and this is my week four summary for Physics 111 day class. This week in physics was really focused on our first project. This project involved the physics of drag racing and we have been testing racing, graphing, and calculating all week to explain the science behind it. Drag racing involves many concepts such as force, acceleration, drag, and velocity, but this week was concerned with impulse and momentum. These are the last two concepts that we need to learn in order to complete our project. Unfortunately, they are also the most confusing and intensive concepts to date. We started the week with our first race. We all went outside, set up the cars, and videotaped their run along the track. The setup for this race was labor intensive, and there were many attempts that failed due to setup or technical problems. But by the, by the end, everyone got their run, got to run their car at least once. We then took this video, analyzed it, and graphed it using our class computer program, Logger Pro. The rest of the week was spent discussing and calculating impulse and momentum from a force graph. Along with this discussion, we continued to work in our groups to perfect our project data. This included more graphing, calculating, and researching the science of drag racing. Then this information needs to be organized into the final paper and multimedia presentation. Although it does not seem as though we did much this week, we were actually quite busy. Using the program to graph the video took a lot of time because there were multiple videos to choose from and we had to analyze both the beginning and an end of the race video. This is quite labor intensive process considering it is the first time many of us have used this program. Also, the calculations that we learned in class were fairly involved. Up to this point, we had not yet embarked upon a full set of calculations, but now there's a lot of math involving multiple steps. I think a lot of us had to shake off the cobwebs a little and get into math mode again. In addition, David's approach is more geared toward application as opposed to formulas, which is hard to grasp when the students are so used to the traditional way of learning. Now that we have all the information, it is necessary to put it all together. There's a lot of work to be done for this project, and we don't have a lot of time in which to complete it. As a team, we need to get organized and be more efficient and get our act together as, a complete, as to complete everything on time. Unfortunately, I feel that there are a lot of concepts that are still difficult and that the overall guidelines of the project are a bit hazy. I guess that as a group, we need to take what we have and try our best to explain ourselves. Hopefully, once it all comes together, my questions will be answered. And with a little practice, the concepts will begin to make more sense. Overall, I need to use my time outside of class to increase my knowledge and refine my skills in all areas of this project. This week was arduous and stressful, but fun at the same time. The racing and team bonding really seemed to lighten the mood of the class. I think that although the class is worried about completing all this work, we are still trying to enjoy ourselves. By tying all the previous concepts with those we learned this week, I think the big picture will be clearer than all of the individual parts.